Hi everyone and welcome to a brand new video on the CBI channel. In this new tutorial series, we're going to be deploying a full stack web application with Python Django in the backend and React.js in the frontend. And we're going to deploy that application on Microsoft's cloud platform called Microsoft Azure. In this first video, we're going to focus on the architecture of this deployment. In the next videos, we are going to be focusing on changing our Django and React code. And we're going to push that code to GitHub using Git. Uh, then we have a separate video for deploying our Django code to Azure and also for deploying our React.js code to Azure. And in the last video, I'm also going to go over the costs of the deployment and the ways that you can troubleshoot it if you encounter any of problems. In this first video, I will cover three main topics. I'm going to start with a quick rundown of the application that we will be deploying so you have an idea of what we are actually going to push to Microsoft Azure. Next, I'm going to show you the architecture of the deployment so you know exactly which components we will need during this deployment. And I'm also going to show you a list with a few prerequisites that you will need before following along with this tutorial. So let's get started with the first step, which is a brief explanation of the code that we're going to be deploying. And the code that we are going to be deploying is actually the result of the previous tutorial that I did on my YouTube channel. And in that tutorial series, we uploaded 13 videos, which showed you how to create a full stack web application using Python Django as the backend and React.js as the front end. Uh, and we're going to be using this code as the example for our deployment. Um, and you can find this code both on my GitHub account. You can also watch my videos to see how I did certain things in there. But the easiest way to give you a good overview of what this application is all about is by just putting it on the screen. So um, our application has three main pages. On the home page, you will see a table with all of the different records that we have created inside of our database with some functionality where we can edit or delete these records. Um, we also have an about page, but there's not really that much content on there right now. And we also have a create page where we are able to create different kinds of records, which will then show up on the home page. So it is quite a basic CRUD application, uh, which we will be deploying to Microsoft Azure. Now, of course, I've shown you the project that we have created and we're going to be deploying, but please feel free to follow along using your own application. I've not made any significant changes to the settings or configuration of both of my front end and my back end, so you should be completely fine to just follow along with your own code. Now we can find a little bit more details on what this code looks like inside of my Visual Studio Code Editor. You can see that inside of my main folder, I've split up my backend and my frontend in different folders. Uh, the backend has all of our Django stuff. And basically in here, I've not made too many changes uh, to the settings or anything like that. So there's still quite some things that we will need to be changing in the next video before we can actually deploy this. In the front end, we originally used create react app, but we switched that to beat. And in here, uh, you can find all of my different uh, components and pages. And also here, I've made no changes uh, before the actual deployments. And if we go to my backend terminal right here and I type in Python dash dash version, you will see that I am using Python version 3.8.10. And if I go and type in Python dash M Django dash dash version, you will see our version for Django and that is the version 4.2.5. For React, we can take a look at our package.json and you will see that I am using the most recent version uh, of React at the time of recording, which is 18.2.0. So now let's take a brief look at the architecture for this deployment. Um, you could have already seen it when I was showing you the code, but our local project is currently inside of a folder on my personal computer, and I'm using Visual Studio Code to edit it. Um, once we've made a few changes to that code, we're going to push our local code to a GitHub repository using Git. And that GitHub repository is kind of like an, an online place where we can store the code, and that is going to be the connection point uh, to Microsoft Azure. So the first thing that we will do on the Microsoft Azure portal is creating a resource group which will function as a container for all of our different services. 
Um, for our backend, we're going to be using Azure's app services uh, to deploy our Django code. And we're going to use the option where we can create a uh, web plus database in one go. And that means that Microsoft is going to create a server, uh, an Azure app service server for us, um, which is going to make sure that our backend code runs. And it is also simultaneously going to create an Azure database for PostgreSQL. And by using the web plus database option on the Azure portal, it's going to already configure some of the things that we would uh, normally have to do ourselves, which is uh, quite beneficial for us uh, in this case. Our front end is going to be deployed using an Azure static web app. Now our front end only is a bunch of JavaScript files, HTML files and CSS files. And because those are all very static files, we can simply use Azure static web app to store and host them there as our front end. Now, looking at this architecture, you can clearly see uh, what are the components that we're actually going to need. The first things on the left hand side, you're going to need a GitHub account. Uh, you can create a GitHub account for completely free on the GitHub website. In addition to that, we're going to bring our code from our local computer to GitHub using Git. So you will need to install uh, Git on your computer as well. Uh, Git is just an open source software and it's completely free to use. Um, and the last thing that we will also need, of course, is an Azure subscription, uh, because without that, we cannot do anything on the Azure portal. And you can create an Azure account for free. Um, and by doing that, you can also use a bunch of free services which are always available. And in addition to that, you also get $200 of credit um, so you can play around a little bit on the portal. And that $200 is going to be uh, completely enough uh, for everything that we are going to do in terms of deployment. Um, the one downside of this is that you will need to use a credit card to create an account. Um, but other than that, during this deployment, you will not make any costs. And that is actually already it for this video today. A lot more information will follow when we actually go through the deployment. And I will also try to provide you with as much information uh, as possible. Um, in our next video, we're going to start by making some changes to our local code so that it is ready for the deployment. Uh, next, we're going to be publishing our code to GitHub using Git. Uh, and we're going to then deploy our Django and our React.js codes to Azure. And as a sixth and additional video, I'm also going to talk a little bit about the costs of deployment and how you can do troubleshooting. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.